everyone, my name is Marisa and I'm going to do a tutorial today for the Potomac Bead Company. And for today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet here that I'm calling my shiny eyes bracelet. And the reason I'm calling it that is because I'm using crystals here. These are the new uh, Potomac Bead Company crystals. Well, one of their, one of their types of new ones. Um, there are several that have been added. And uh, I'm going to use these and I'm going to put them in the Ava beads like that. And they kind of look like eyes to me, so that's why I'm calling it Shiny Eyes Bracelet. So this is what it looks like. Bring it up closer. And for this, you are going to need Ava beads. And for today, the, for the one I'm going to make with you, I'm going to use the Metallic Aqua. And I'm going to use 12 on mine because I'm going to make it to fit me. And for mine, I'm going to need 12. So you will need probably 12 to 14, depending on the size that you need. If you need more, then you'll just use more. If you need less, then less. So Ava beads, these are also exclusive to the Potomac Bead Company. And as I said, I'm going to be using these crystals and I'm going to take them out so you can see them. And you will need one, one per little unit here. So I'm going to need six for my bracelet. And depending on how big you're going to make yours, well, you will just need, uh, need enough to fit for each of your units. And I'm going to use the light Colorado Topaz for the one I'm gonna make with you today. And this is how they look. Very nice, very, very sparkly. So they've just added a bunch of different types of crystals to their um, exclusive their exclusive line, and this is one of them. You will also need rondelles, and I'm going to use the Potomac Bead Company rondelles, and I'm going to use the crystal champagne, and you will need four per, and they're going to go here on top of your little connecting units here that are made up of super duos which brings me to my next type of bead you're going to need super duos and i'm going to use the jet iris you will need seed beads you will need 15 o's 11 o's and 8 o's and i'm going to use the gold in the 15 o's galvanized i'm going to use in my 11 o's two different colors i'm going to use a dark topaz rainbow and I'm going to use this color, which is the Antique Ivory Pearl Ceylon. For my 8-0s, I'm going to use a metallic dark bronze, and they're all Miyuki. All of the seed beads that I'm using are Miyuki brand. To fasten my bracelet, on this one I used a cup button, but since I just got these clasp garden uh, clasps, I just ordered these last week and I got them really quick and I'm very excited about them because it's so pretty. I'm going to use it for the one I'm going to make with you today. So a clasp of your choice. For tools, I'm going to use, it, it is a two needle project and I've already strung my needles with six and a half feet of wildfire beading thread, 0 .006 in white. And you will also need some flat nose pliers and scissors or something to cut your thread with. So go ahead and get your materials together and I will show you what to do first. Okay, so I got my needles ready to go and I have all of my beads on my desk here and I have a huge mess, but that's a long story. So I'm not gonna get into that, but the first things First, uh, the first, what we're going to do on this first step, we're going to use our Ava beads, our crystals, our super duos, our 11 O's, 15 O's, and 8 O's. If you're using two colors of 11 O's, you're only going to need one color for right now. So, but you can just use one color. So that, that's not a problem. You don't have to use two. I picked up my clasp with one needle and I have it centered, holding on to it. I'm gonna pick up an 
with one needle. With my other needle, I'm going to go through that same 11 0 in the same direction. I'm not crossing, it's just the same direction. And then I'm going to just keep holding that like that just so that it stays centered. So this is what I have. I'm going to pick up three more 11 0s on each side, just like this. Three 11 0s each needle. Let them drop. Pick up your first uh, Ava like that, like a V. Both of your needles have to cross through this hole at the point, just like that. And pull, and pull, 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 pull. Whoop. And this is what you have. And if you want, you can go ahead and go, once you've crossed, you can go back up your 11 O's, up that one 11 O here, cross again, go through your, through your clasp there and reinforce it. I'm just going to reinforce it when I come back down my bracelet. So we're over here coming out, both of our needles like this, opposite directions through that hole there at the point. Now pick up three more 11 O's on each needle, just like this. Three on my left, three on my right, and we're going to hop on over to the other hole of your Ava, like that. Hop on over, just like that. Okay, so this is what you have. Now we're going to get our, our first crystal. And there's two holes here. I'm going to refer to this as our top holes. See my needle going through it? And then we have some other holes going this way. Another hole going this way. Just trying to find it. And uh, I will refer to this as my bottom hole. So now both of our needles have to go through that bottom hole and cross through it and make sure both of them stay at that hole and that you don't accidentally go in through that hole and come out through the top hole. It's easy to do that, so just be careful. And pull, and now your needles, I mean, your threads are coming out of your crystal and they're in position to go into this hole again of your Ava. So do that. Way easier off camera, so I may be having a little bit of a harder time, but it, this is not a difficult project. And then this one through that hole. And then now you want to pull tight again. And that's what you should have. And now we're going to add our little grouping that's going to connect our Ava to our crystal. And then we're going to connect it again through the crystal. So 15080 15 goes on each needle. 15080 Let that drop. Pick up your next Ava. This time you're going to pick it up like this. And you're going to go, I'm going to work with one needle at a time. So my left hand, my needle on my left hand, we're going to go through this hole. And you're going to cross through the crystal again. So, but again, I'm going to show you this one at a time. And I'm coming out of the Ava there. I'm going to go in through the top hole of my crystal and I'm going to pull. And then I'm going to come, I'm going to go through this, the other hole here of my Ava and come out. And you don't have to pull that tight yet. Not until we have both of our needles coming out of the Ava like that. So the needle on my needle and thread on my right hand side, I already have my grouping there, 15080, 15-0. i am going to go through the Ava. And if you leave it a little bit loose, li like this, it works better. It it's easier. Go through my crystal and through my Ava on the other side. And again, this is not hard, it's just harder when you're on camera like that. Okay, so I got them all coming out, 
of my Avis and now I'm going to pull. And I'm just going to give a quick glance to make sure there's no thread there and I don't. So that means my needles went in through everything. So now we're going to do again how we did this Ava, decorating the sides of it with three 11 O's on each needle. Whoops. I guess those don't want to be part of the project. Three 11 O's on this needle too. Let them drop. And then we're going to cross through the whole hair at the, at the point like that. And this is your base. This is your first pass, and this is the most difficult pass, and it's not difficult at all. The most difficult part is getting that crystal in there, and that's not difficult. You just have to be patient, keep this Ava loose until both of your strings are coming out of the Ava, and then pull tight. So we're coming out of the Ava here. Now we're going to do our middle unit, and that is going to be with coming out of the Avis. So now you're going to pick up on each needle an 11 0 And then three super duos on each needle. And then finish that out with an 11 0 after your super duos. So this is what you ha should have on both of your needles. 11 0 three super duos, 11 0 And I have that on this side as well, letting them drop. I'm going to cross through my next Ava bead like this, like that. So we're going to cross at the point. And this is your first step. This is your whole base pass. Very simple, very, very simple. So now we're in position to do our next little unit. So we're coming out of the Avis here. Pick up three 11 O's on each of their needles. Three 11 O's. Let them drop. Go in your Ava on this side. And then this needle wants, needs to go in to the Ava on that side. And I'm going to pull. Ooh. And now we're ready for our next crystal. We have to cross through the bottom hole of our crystal. Okay, one needle going in that direction, the other needle in this direction, and pull. So this is your first step. And now from here, you're just going to add your connecting grouping of beads, which is your 15-0. 8-0-15-0 on each needle and then you're going to pick up your next Ava bead and then go in through, come out on this side with this needle. Once you have your connecting beads of 15 0 go into this Ava through your crystal, come out of the Ava and then pull tight. If you have any problem, just uh, rewind the video so you can see me do all this again and go ahead and do the length that you need. Okay, and just remember, when you've crossed through your crystal, after you've put it here in, in the middle here of your Ava, and you've crossed through it, before you put your grouping of 15080150, you need to come out of your Ava here. This thread is in, uh, is in position to go through that hole, so go ahead and do that. And then this one as well. It's coming out on this side, so it's in position to come out of that hole. So you're coming out of your Ava like this after you've crossed through it and you've gone through the Ava. So you're coming out like that. Now you're ready to add your grouping of 15-0, 8-0, and then you can put your Ava on top. Okay, so I completed the base pass of my bracelet, and that is the most difficult part of this bracelet. And it's not even that difficult. So, but from here on out, it's just filling in. So I did add 
the other part of my clasp and I did it just the way I did this uh, this one so with three 11 O's and then I added one more and both my needles went through the tip went in the same direction then I crossed through my clasp went down this 11 O that they shared and then down each of these groupings of three 11 O's on either side of my Ava now I'm coming out here through these groupings we're not going to cross through the Ava now we're just going to work straight down our bracelet so for here since there's a little bit of a gap I'm going to put an 11 0 in the same color that I already have so I'm going to go through this grouping and come out of that grouping of three the same thing on the other side 11 0 go through this grouping of three and come out now I'm ready to use my other color of, of 11 -0. if you're still if you're only using one color that's fine you don't have to use two colors but for those of you that are this is where you're going to put in that second color um, well this is where you're going to put in your 11 O's whether you're using a second color or not so you're coming out of this grouping of three on both sides now I'm going to pick on pick up my ivory color go through this grouping here of 1508050 and I didn't catch my 15 but I will now and then after this grouping on goes another 11 and don't get too ahead on one side so you don't, you don't want to ruin your tension so after you that 11 go through that grouping of three now we're coming out through this grouping here of three on goes a 15 through your super duo and now through each of your super duos you're also going to add a 15 so 15 I gotta get these closer to me I just cannot see all right 15 here pull and then 15 here and Coming out of your last super duo, 15 0, go through the grouping here of three 11 0s. You're not going to go through the 11 0 that's in your grouping with your super duos. See how you have, see how you have uh, an 11 0 before your super duos. You're not going to touch those super, I mean, those 11 0s at all only the groupings of three that you have here outside of your Avis so on this side I'm right before my grouping of 1508050 put in 110 go through that grouping after that grouping on goes another 110 go through the grouping next to it that's three 11 0's together and then do a 15 -0, go through the super duo and then a 15 -0 through each of your super duos so this is the second pass of your bracelet and it's very 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 simple and then the third pass is even easier so pretty cool so go ahead and finish filling in I'm coming out of my super duo there I mean yeah my super duo pick up a 15 -0, and I'm going to go through this grouping here of three 11 O's and that's going to put me in place right before my grouping of 15 0 0 and in before that and after that grouping is going to go an 11 0 so go ahead and finish this step and I'll show you what to do after this okay so I finished adding in my seed beads on the side and now we're almost done we just need to do our last pass and again this is another very easy step and uh, all I did when I finished was I added my last 11 0 here went up the 11 0s that connect to my clasp reinforce that and then came back down 
and one thread is exiting these three and the other one th these three. But you're going to go all the way down to, to okay, I'm right here. You're going to go all the way down, down these other 11 O's on the side. And again, you're not going to do any crossing on this, on this step. I'm right before my 11 O's that are right before my groupings here. And I'm going to come out of my groupings here of three 11 O's right before this unit here of 11 O three super duos 11 O and you're going to from here you are going to put on your needle you are going to put a uh, I'm not sure what color I'm going to stick with I don't know if I'm going to do this color or because I don't want it to get lost in there. I should probably use, I don't know, this one or whoop, this one. Which one do I, I think I'm going to use these. I like them both. I'll just stick to the lighter color. So on goes a 2 by 3 rondel, a 15 0 and then go through your super duos. You're going to skip the 11 0 that's right before the super duos there and just go through all of your super duos coming out of your third super duo. So this will put your little crystal. Whoops. This will put your little crystal there, but I have it in the wrong order. Okay, let me do that again. It's, sorry, it's 15 0 and then Ron, whoops, Rondell. Now, we're ready to go in. Okay, so it's 15 0 and then your Rondell and then go through these super duos. If you can't get all three of them at once, that's fine. And that is going to put, if it twists, just untwist it. And these are gonna kind of sit on top. And the 15 0 is just there to hide thread. Okay. So it's going to sit right there. See a little shine there. So I need to come out of my last 15 0, I mean, super duo. And here I'm going to do rondelle 15 0. And now I'm going to go through, again, you're going to skip that 11 0 that's on the end. You're going to go through all of these beads again, but you're going to start there at your three at your grouping of three eleven O's down this eleven O right before your grouping of fifteen O eight O fifteen O. Go through that grouping and go all the way till you come out of your grouping here again of three eleven O's. Once you're there, do fifteen O rondelle. Go through these super duos and only the super duos. That put my crystal there. I need to go through one more super duo. And now here it's Rondell and 15 0. Again, you're going to Go start here at these groupings here of three 11 O's and the 11 O after that. And then just kind of make sure that your rondelles are sitting there right and that they're not twisted. And then finish going through all of these beads on the side until you are coming out of that grouping of 11 O, 11 O, 11 O. Your three 11 O's over here. I'm going to go to this side. 
I'm going to start doing the same thing. I'm way over here. I need to come out. I need to go through all of these. Because remember, your crystals are only going to go there on top of your super duos. And what that's doing is that that is hiding that little open space there that exposes all that thread. So go ahead and finish that and I will meet you back. Okay, so I have already finished adding all of my crystal embellishments. So this is what I have. And all I did was I met my threads here and I'm just gonna push them to the back. Once I added my last crystals, I went up on this side, went like about to here where um, my original grouping is coming out of the Ava cut, well not cut, I went through the Ava and I met my threads. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my needles and I'm going to tie a knot. And then off camera, I will glue my knot and um, cut my threads. And this is the end of our bracelet. So this completes our project. And um, as you can see, it was a very, very simple project. And very lovely too. So I have my knots. I'm going to cut my threads or burn them. Uh, and then now just kind of straighten it out a bit until it lays really pretty. So this is what you have. Very, very nice. Now, this is not something that I would wear to my, where I work. I work at a brickyard, so and I'm always going outside and it's pretty dusty and um, just the material itself that I have to load sometimes by hand. I, don't, I wouldn't want to ruin this, so um, just this is really something like for date night, for church, maybe lunch with the girls or, um, you know, something special. I really wouldn't recommend it if um, you work at a daycare or <laughs> some kind of a yard uh, where I work at or um, if you have to get your hands wet a lot. So this is, this is something nicer. So just save it for, you know, special occasions. And this clasp is just beautiful. I love it. So I'm gonna try it on. And since it's not a cut button that I'm used to, I, I love cut buttons, they're so easy. I don't know, I'm just not good with any other kind of fastener. Well, this is how it looks on. I'm just, I'm having a hard time. I'm used to cut buttons. So anyway, this is how it looks on. And this is the other one I had made. So this is how they look, full of shine. So here we go, with our shiny eyes bracelet. I hope you enjoyed making this and thank you very much for watching.